Hello, hello. How y'all doing? It's freezing out here, man. Uh, it's uh, about 16 degrees outside. It's um, almost six o'clock in the evening on the 8th of February. Um, just finished up out here and going to show you what we were working on today. Uh, that air air box for the auxiliary radiator on the cart uh, to test in April. Um, started working on connecting the dots, so to speak, with that. We just got done last two or three days rearranging the, the garage here. Sherry got me some really nice cabinets and a, and a countertop from uh, from her office, which was getting remodeled. And this stuff here wasn't even a year old. I mean, I, if I would if I'd have got out there sooner, I would have been able to get a lot more stuff. But uh, we cleaned the place up, opened up a bunch of boxes that we still had boxed up from three years ago when we had to move. And uh, and started getting uh, getting things in chip shape. There's plenty of room to play around in here now. Uh, we're gonna we'll get to welding on the on the project cart right quickly now that the frozen coldness has passed us by. But uh, just wanted to bring you a little uh, little Anderson radiator as well. This is what they run on the uh, on the Anderson Maverick on the uh, what they call 125 open in a, a British supercart. Um, so it'd be your, your single cylinder 125. It's the only radiator they run. It runs in the, in the side pot of the cart. Um, no rear rear radiators on those carts. And uh, from the videos, I mean, uh, you, you can see it's it's metric. Um, and see, you know, uh, but uh, when you convert it, they, they run a, between 122 and 135 degrees, you know, they hardly, they never see 140. Um, so, you know, a Vasey can run on a radiator one third that big and, and claim to run at 140. I I don't know. I think maybe those guys are Buffalo and me. Or maybe they're using a metric gauge. Uh, I don't know. This is what we got going. We uh, started out with a piece of cardboard uh, the size of the cooling surface of the radiator. Did some math. You want? Uh, I wanted an opening that was a triangle instead of a, 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 an oval. So this is the size uh, that we need. As long as the air box continues to grow, uh, we should be okay with uh, air actually flowing through it. Um, we may end up, you know, changing this up a little bit, you know, uh, just to make sure we're getting the air going through it. But. Uh, we connect what we have for a cooling surface to the opening that we want. I used uh, some welding rod, aluminum welding rod. It's easy to bend and work with. And a hot glue gun and uh, glued, glued the corners and projected them up. The reason we didn't go to the points here is because this will be flat like I showed you here with this uh, piece of old cornflakes box I cut and put on here. It gives you an idea of what it looks like. What we'll do is uh, We'll put more uh, ribs, uh, skeleton, so to speak, of aluminum just to stiffen this thing all up. And we'll connect uh, from the center and then here and here. And we'll, we'll, fudge that, um, we'll fudge that radius into the, and have it blend into this flat bit. Um, and we'll do that on all three corners. Kind of like uh, skinning an airplane wing or something, you know? Um, so that's it. You just basically just a projection, uh, basic model making this all car junk cardboard I had laying around after cleaning up the garage. A uh, couple of old cornflakes boxes I got laying around here cost nothing. We don't want to spend any money on this thing because we're just testing, right? And we're just going to test this this philosophy, this idea of the uh, radiator as big as the CIK cart capacity wise, whether this is going to going to keep our motor cool. So. Uh, there you go. Um, like I said, it is it is bone chilling cold out here. The thing on the wall over there says about 29, but um, I'm telling you, I'm cold. my toes got really really cold only being out here about an hour and a half or so. So um, that's it. We're gonna try to uh, get, her, get her ready to go. We got nine weeks to uh, to the test day in April, and uh, we hope y'all come and join us. Godspeed, y'all. God bless. We'll bring you some more from RPM headquarters. Talk to you later.